Hey guys and welcome to my morning routine. So on the day that I decided to show you guys my morning routine, all of the adults in my house had left to go to Florida and so I was in charge of waking up and getting all the kids ready and dropping everyone to school and all of that adult stuff. So uh, my morning routine started at 7.30. I was up at 7.30 and usually in the morning I try to not automatically jump on my phone and go on social media. I try to just wake up slide out of the bed and start my day and so here I am in my bathroom usually in the mornings every single morning I do this I wake up slide out of bed brush my teeth wash my face in that order every morning so I never ever walk out of my bedroom with morning breath because it's horrible and so, yeah, I washed my face this morning with the simple foaming facial cleanser. And I like to use that in the morning because it's really light. And I put oils and stuff on my face to go to sleep and they usually absorb. But I just use this cleanser to kind of take off whatever is stood on the surface of my skin and has not fully absorbed. And as you guys can see, I do still use my Vanity Planet Spin for Perfect Skin Facial Cleansing Brush. And so I'm just changing my clothes. And this is the, the shirt I got from my school. It says Marisha on the back. Super excited. And so after I wash my face, I put on my moisturizer. And today I use my Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. And on top of that, you guys can't see the bottle. It's coming up, but you guys can't see the bottle. Yeah. But that is 100% pure argan oil. And I like to use that over the top of my moisturizer because it makes my skin look dewy and like awake. And just in case I don't get enough sleep, it works. So here I am running around the kitchen and I'm making breakfast. My usual breakfast is a cup of peppermint tea, caffeinated peppermint tea, and um, brown sugar and cinnamon oats. And I like to use the steel cut oats. I just like them. They're like bigger and chewier. So I use that and I literally can only eat three like spoonfuls of oats. I literally take three spoons of oats and dump it in my bowl and then cook it like that because I cannot, I can't like eat more than that. I just can't. And while I'm making my, like, warming up my water for my tea and my oatmeal, I drink water all the time, every morning. So that's my cup of water, mixing my tea, and my oatmeal. And also at this point, I woke everybody up, so everybody's up. And now we are leaving. I'm dropping them to work. I mean, to school. I'm dropping them to school. And so I cut this part really short because it, it takes me, like, a half hour to drive them to school and a half hour to get back. So I'm literally driving for an hour in the morning. And so, like I said, all of the adults in the house are gone. So after I get off dropping two kids to school, I come home and there's a baby to babysit. My cousin just had a baby. And so um, whenever I get home, there he is. I am on to babysitting duty. And usually, like, I play with him for a little bit, try to get him to go to sleep. There was some noise in my bathroom. But once I get him to sleep, this has, like, become a necessary part of my day. I've been having really bad lower back pain. And so every morning, or like when I get back from dropping them to school, it's been like two hours after, um, I have to stretch out my lower back. And so what I'm doing is just some basic exercises to like stretch and open my lower back. And I do this at the beginning of the day because my back doesn't hurt like at all in the morning. But once the day starts to roll on and I start to doing stuff, it like the pain is really, really bad. So I'm just doing all of my stretches and stretching out my back and just making everything nice and loose Even when you're gone I think of you boy And then a part of my everyday life someone always like barges in they don't knock and they just come in as they feel pleased so that is like an actual part of my everyday I do not get any privacy or any alone time someone is always barging in so after I'm done my stretches and like I said it's been a couple hours after I dropped everybody to school I'm having some I think this is like yellow corn chips and the serving size is 13 and I literally count out 13 chips like I am that serious about it because I, I don't know if I mentioned but I am still 100% on a fitness journey so 
everything I do, I sort of like count it and try to eat it as close to the serving size or the serving amount as possible. And I try to do everything by the book. And this, while I'm having my snack, is also the time in the morning where like I try to socialize with my family, figure out what everybody's doing for the day, um, if I could help in any sort of way, and just that kind of stuff. Just, you know, talk and socialize because I feel like a lot of people spend so much time on like their cell phones and social media and laptops and all these other technological equipment that they don't really socialize. So I do use this time in the day to sort of, I don't want to say get that out of the way, but to uh, socialize and talk with the people around me. So that was just showing you guys that I'm done. And now I don't think it showed, but I made a cup of lemon water because that's what I like. I like to drink that after I have salty snacks just to try and cleanse everything out so i'm drinking some lemon water and i have like this artificial lemon thing so that's probably not the best that's why the water is like super tinted but yeah um after i do that the, the 13 chips wasn't enough so i have these like sweet meal digestive biscuits they're supposed to be really good they help like you know they help with your digestion and so this is the time where i sit on my laptop and I usually, at first, I like watch an hour and a half of YouTube videos. Like I sit here and I watch YouTube videos for an hour and a half. Sometimes I take notes and like get ideas of things that I could do or things that I think I'd be able to do. And I write that down. And then after I spend an hour and a half watching YouTube videos is when I just sort of get my life together and decide, okay, maybe now should be the time when I edit some videos. So I spend the better half of my morning sitting right here editing or watching YouTube videos and just trying to get my life together and still continuously drinking water so guys this is actually gonna be the end of my morning routine I don't do that much no more.